Let's get right into it. Number 9. Octopus Dream Colors An octopus, fast asleep at the bottom of the ocean, starts flashing different colors and patterns across its skin like a living mood ring. One moment it's pale, ghostly white, then suddenly it ripples with dark stripes, then it shifts to perfect camouflage matching a rock that isn't even there. Scientists think these eight-armed creatures are actually dreaming. Instead of twitching like a dog, they're basically live-streaming their dreams. These color changes happen because octopuses have thousands of specialized skin cells called chromatophores. Like tiny paint balloons, the octopus can inflate or deflate instantly. When awake, they use this to hide or sneak up on prey, but their skin keeps working even when they're asleep. Octopuses have different sleep phases, just like us. There's quiet sleep, where they're still and pale. Then every 30 to 40 minutes, they enter active sleep, their version of REM sleep. During this phase, their eyes dart around, their arms twitch, and their skin goes wild with colors. So what are they dreaming about? The prevailing theory is, they're reliving their day. A sudden dark color might be the octopus dreaming about ambushing a crab. The pale color could be them relaxing after an imaginary meal. One scientist filmed an octopus named Heidi going through what looked like a whole action movie in her sleep. She turned dark, like she was swimming in open water, then went mottled and textured, probably dreaming about hiding. She even flashed a bright pattern that awake octopuses use to scare off predators. And the craziest part is, we have no idea what's really going on in their heads. They could be practicing camouflage, consolidating memories, or having wild underwater adventures. Without an octopus to human dream dictionary, we're just guessing. These creatures are putting on the weirdest light show in the ocean, and they're not even awake to enjoy it. Number 8. Pufferfish Sand Art Scuba diving off Japan, you might see perfect 7-foot circles on the ocean floor with intricate patterns. The artist is a 5-inch pufferfish. This tiny fish works 24-7 for about a week, using only its fins. And the reason for all this effort is love. Female pufferfish inspect these sandy sculptures. If she likes one, she'll lay her eggs in the center. These designs are also functional. The ridges and valleys funnel fine sand to the center, creating a nursery bed, and the pattern reduces ocean currents by 25%, protecting the eggs. This fish invented underwater feng shui. Scientists still don't know exactly what females are judging, symmetry, size, or sand quality. But this fish puts more effort into impressing a date than most people put into an online dating profile. And the kicker is, after all that work, the ocean washes it away, and he has to start over. It's like building a sand castle knowing the tide will take it, but instead of tears, you might get babies. Number 7. Ant Death Spirals Imagine your GPS tells you to turn left, then left again and again, until you're driving in circles. That's what happens to army ants. These blind ants navigate by sniffing the chemical trail of the ant in front. It's like a conga line where everyone's blindfolded, following by smell, and a lot can go wrong. If the lead ant gets confused and crosses its own trail, it starts following its own smell in a circle. The ant behind follows, then the next, and soon thousands are trapped, marching in that fatal loop. They'll keep marching until they drop from exhaustion. Scientists call it a death spiral. One tiny mistake by one ant, and the whole colony is in a doom loop. It's nature's way of saying following the crowd isn't always best. These ants turn teamwork into a fatal flaw following orders straight into oblivion. So next time someone says, trust the process, check that the process isn't just walking in circles. Number 6. Living Sky Art Thousands of birds at dusk, moving together as if sharing one brain, creating a murmuration. It's nature's flash mob, forming shapes that would make a CGI artist jealous. A giant donut, then a tornado, then an abstract painting. But here's the truly wild part. There's no leader. Each bird just watches about seven neighbors, playing an intense game of don't crash into Steve. The main reason is predators. For a hawk, picking one bird from a swirling mass is nearly impossible. Plus, thousands of birds together stay warmer at night. This behavior is instinctive. Baby birds don't go to murmuration school. The physics is wild. The flock moves like a liquid, behaving like particles responding to forces. These shows usually happen around dusk, and while beautiful, there's a downside. You don't want to park under their favorite tree. Watching a murmuration still feels like witnessing magic. Thousands of creatures moving as one, creating art in the sky. Number 5. Animal Quake Sensors Dogs barking like crazy, cats freaking out, 
birds taking flight minutes or even days before an earthquake. People report chickens stopping egg-laying or catfish thrashing violently right before a quake. It seems animals might be tuning into an earthquake early warning system. Part of this isn't mysterious. Earthquakes send out P waves, which are faster and weaker. Humans usually can't feel them, but many animals can. Seconds before the stronger S waves arrive. So a dog acting weird a few seconds before shaking is likely feeling that P wave, but animals acting strange hours or days before a quake is more controversial. In China in 1975, officials reportedly made an earthquake forecast based on small tremors and unusual animal activity. Many slept outside, and when a major earthquake hit Haicheng, lives were spared. But this success hasn't been reliably repeated. Another massive Chinese earthquake struck later, without clear animal warnings, and many perished. Scientists are studying these behaviors, but there's no definitive proof. While animals can sense initial tremors early, the idea of a long-range earthquake sixth sense is still a big question. Maybe they sense subtle changes in groundwater, electrical fields, or tiny foreshocks. Your pet might be the first to know an earthquake is happening, but don't rely on them for a week in advance forecast. Number 4. Why Whales Beach? Dozens of whales suddenly swimming straight onto a beach, leaving their ocean home to become stranded on sand. It's one of nature's most heartbreaking mysteries. Once out of water, their own weight starts crushing their internal organs. They can't control their body temperature, overheating and dehydrating fast. And the worst part is, these strandings often happen in groups. Whales and dolphins have strong family bonds. If one confused leader heads for shore, the whole pod might follow, their loyalty becoming their downfall. So, the real mystery is, why do they do this? Sometimes it's natural causes. Sickness, injury, misjudging shallow waters, or trapped by tides. But human activity is increasingly to blame. Military sonar is a major suspect. Its intense sound waves can disorient whales, making them surface too quickly and flee into dangerously shallow waters. Massive cargo ships create underwater noise pollution, interfering with whale navigation. Pollution weakens their immune systems and fishing gear entangles them, leading injured animals to strand. Rescue efforts are incredibly challenging. Each mass stranding is a complex puzzle. A sick leader, a confusing shoreline, or deafening sonar. Sometimes we never find out why the ocean's giants march to their doom. Number 3. Elephant Funeral Rituals Elephants are inventing funeral rituals. Scientists in India discovered elephants burying their dead babies with a specific technique, carrying the calf to a special spot and burying it with its legs pointing upward every single time. YouTube videos show elephants gently patting deceased family members, trying to nudge them awake or standing by them for hours. Mother elephants have been seen toting their deceased young around for days, sometimes weeks. One video showed a baby elephant snuggling its dying mother stuck in mud. Scientists are careful about saying elephants grieve, calling it anthropomorphism, but an elephant carrying its dead baby for two weeks seems like more than that. Nobody knows why they do the legs up burial. Maybe it's for elephant heaven, or to confuse future archaeologists. What's clear is elephants pay serious attention to their dead, with complex reactions far beyond simple acknowledgement. Number 2. Turtle GPS Brains A baby sea turtle born on a beach crawls to the ocean, swims for 20 years, then decides to return to that tiny strip of sand thousands of miles away with no map or GPS. Sea turtles do this all the time. When baby turtles hatch, they head for the brightest spot on the horizon, usually the ocean reflecting moonlight. Once in the waves, they swim into them, heading out to sea. In the open ocean, with no landmarks, their superpower kicks in. They can sense Earth's magnetic field. It's like a built-in compass, but more advanced. Earth's magnetic field has tiny differences in strength and angle, creating a unique magnetic signature for each spot. Sea turtles detect these variations figuring out their latitude and longitude. They're sensing their exact location. The accuracy is mind-blowing. After thousands of miles, they find a specific beach, sometimes the exact one where they were born. Scientists think magnetism gets them to the general area. The question is, how do they nail the exact beach? Some think they might smell their home beach, its chemical signature carried by currents, but mostly they're navigating using Earth's magnetic grid. And the craziest part is we still don't fully understand how they're this accurate. It's like they have ancient GPS technology. Number 1. Animal Rescue Heroes Imagine seeing someone attacked. Most would call for help and move on. 
but humpback whales are 40-ton vigilantes. Scientists have documented over 100 cases of humpbacks interfering when orcas attack other animals. And here's where it gets weird. Humpbacks often show up before knowing what's being attacked. They hear orcas hunting and swim miles to intervene. It could be a baby humpback, a seal, or a sunfish. In 89% of recorded incidents, orcas weren't attacking other humpbacks, but completely different species, yet the humpbacks fought anyway. A massive whale using flippers like baseball bats to protect a seal. Reports show humpbacks lifting seals onto their bellies, away from orcas, like a bus-sized bouncer saving a different species. The question is, why would a humpback risk injury for an unrelated animal? Evolution rewards behaviors that help your own genes. Saving a competitor's lunch doesn't make sense. Some think it's a shoot-first, ask-questions-later strategy, as orcas sometimes attack baby humpbacks, but that doesn't explain why they keep fighting for a seal. Another theory is learned behavior from past trauma with orcas. Or maybe, and this is where scientists get uncomfortable, these whales are just nice. It makes you wonder if a 40-ton marine mammal could feel compassion for a terrified seal. The truth is, we don't know. These ocean bodyguards remain one of nature's biggest mysteries. Somewhere in the ocean, a humpback whale might be charging toward danger to save a complete stranger. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.